I'm Barton Thomas. I'm a, a boat builder by trade. I've got a business in Brisbane here, have done for about 25, 26 years. Uh, Australian Master Marine, or AMM for short, building plate aluminium custom boats. I've always loved boats. Um, I've always been around boats, always been around the water. I enjoy the challenge of building something new. I think it's a, it's a great challenge to come up with something new and, and you know, design it, fabricate it, make it work and see the finished product at the end of the day. And then the ultimate thing is seeing the customer having you know, a massive smile on their face when it's all finished, completed and working. It's a seven metre centre console that we've made, it's custom made. We've called it the Halo because of the style of the roof that we've put on top. It's running the new Suzuki 350 with the duo prop on it. They pair up beautifully. It's a beautiful boat to drive. It does everything it's meant to do. It's seven metres long, 2.5 metres wide. It weighs uh, three tonne, including the trailer. Depending on, again, the customer's requirements, that's a full deluxe paint job. So it's, it's coated in a two-pack marine paint. We've done a, a white internal and side decks, and the actual sides are a two-pack satin black. We have fared the sides of the boat to get it nice and straight. Being a black, it's gonna stand out, so we wanted it really straight. I would take a guess and say there's probably a mil and a half, maybe two mil of, of filler in that particular boat, um, in the sides, at the absolute thickest. The welds, we grind, we spend hours and hours grinding all the welds back, and just to finish them off, we put a, a finger wipe of, of filler in there and then sand that back out to the tops of all the aluminium welds. So you're talking less than half a millimetre in, in that area as well. So it's really just taking out the little imperfections once you've ground the grinding marks out of that just to get a really nice, neat, clean finish. Putting filler in, a, in an aluminium boat is supposedly a taboo thing, but it's been around for donkey's years. They've been doing it forever and ever. Um, and there's different types of fillers that you can put in too. We just do it just to get that finish. To, we're, we're searching for that top end finish if that's what the customer wants. Other than that, we'll just do a really nice grind up of the boat and, and paint it white and you will see all the welds. And the welds are beautiful, so there's nothing wrong with that either. It really comes back to the customer's requirements. Wanted to keep the, the actual lines of the boat as clean as possible, so I didn't want to put a bow rail on it. We've kept the rails to a minimum, but at the same time still put them in practical areas where they're required. So yeah, we've put the rail internally around the, um, the combing at the front. Um, which is about 350 mil high above the deck, so you can still grab onto it if the seas are rough enough, so you've still got something to grab onto. But you can also lean up against it, put your shin against it, and your toes can just go up against the internal combing, and it gives you a good foothold there for uh, casting lures. Full of fuel, it's got 600 litres of fuel and 100 litres of fresh water on board. There's a massive amount of storage that we've built into the boat, especially down in underneath the console. There's, uh, six foot of uh, head, head height clearance down inside so you can stand up down in underneath. We've put a 350 litre ice box down in under the floor uh, that is a self pump out system so instead of just having a bung put in the bottom of the esky it's uh, just got its own macerator pump that's been put onto that. Yeah it's 50 mil insulation foam all the way through to all being fiberglass in so it's a proper ice box it keeps ice for quite a few days. It's, it's Awesome, awesome bit of gear to keep your fish once you've caught. We've got a 100 litre live bait tank, uh, which is, we believe, plenty, plenty big enough for, for most people that want to do that style of fishing. It's running the new Furuno TZ15 touchscreen with a one kilowatt transducer, all put on a aluminium custom made off-road trailer that we've built as well. Seating compartment in the center of the boat, we've got two seats with a uh, hinged up bolsters, so it's a nice driving position uh, or standing position. And then behind that, or combined inside that, we've got a, uh, at the back of it, we've got a small drop down, what we call like a dicky seat, just if you're trolling lures or you, you want to sit down while you're watching your spread of lures. Um, or you, yeah, doing a run home, you can sit down and have a bit of a break. Uh, below that, we've made a nice uh, wide, but fairly shallow draw that'll take your tackle trays so you can fit all your tackle trays in there and they're nice and easy and accessible and then underneath that we've got a full pull-out drawer with uh, one of the new ARB Elements stainless steel fridges. The new Suzuki 350 uh, counter-rotating props it's a V6 uh, all fly-by wire and it's a beautiful bit of kit. Uh, look I think that counter-rotating prop is just amazing there's no uh, there's no listing with the hull 
at all with that. You don't need trim tabs just to drive the thing along uh, to balance the boat back up level again. It's got no, no twist in it, in the hull whatsoever, out of the motor. So yeah, no, it's a great thing. And when you put it in reverse, lift that engine up a little bit and put it in reverse, my God, it's got some thrust coming backwards. It is unbelievable. Better than any other airport I've ever, ever driven. Ah, look, I've probably got a bit of a biased opinion, but I believe it rides really well. It sits beautifully in the water. Um, it's balanced beautifully in the water. It does everything it's meant to do in the water. You can drive the wheels off the thing if you want to, or you can just poke along. It, uh, it planes at a very low speed. I think it's around seven or eight knots. Uh, it'll get up onto the plane. And then uh, from there, I think it's 43, 44 knots top end, and the, that motor is just humming. So it's, yeah, it's a, it's a nice bit of kit. Originally intended to uh, take it up north fishing, so hence the, the console design, so you've got plenty of uh, cool air getting around you, but you've still got the protection of a six mil curved glass windscreen on the front. It's got a built-in refrigerator. It's, it's just the perfect day boat. I mean, you can go out, you can fish hard in it all day. You can, it's a bit of a squeeze, but you could you know, camp on the floor uh, overnight on swags or swag it on the beach, whichever. If you're island hopping up north, unbelievable, I reckon, it'd be great.